Hey guys, let's try fly number two of the articulated version. Um, last time we tried the uh, hovering perch fly and uh, today we just tie kind of the same pattern but uh, give it a little bit different head movement and uh, just to ensure that we cover all different situations on the water. So we also tie it articulated, um, but this time we uh, do it in the baitfish color. Let's see how that works. I'm not 100% sure if um, I like the uh, jigging them with uh, with the double double tail, but uh, if not, we can still just change it and uh, put a dragon tail on it. So. Uh, That would be then another solution, but uh, I'm really curious on, on how these tails work. So, as before, just give a little bit of let on the shank so we get some weight here. Cover it with some of the polar reflector flesh, this time silver. And just cut it off. I'll try to tie this one just to. There we hit the shank, never mind, just go on top of it. I'll try to tie this one a little bit quicker than the other one um, as there's not so much new stuff to it. Got some white craft fur. This here is the uh, hairline extra select. back and tie it down, super glue and then we immediately get the next shank in it. So here we go. A bit of super glue on the shank again. Lead wire. always do the uh, first turns through the wire. I do it a little bit gentle, so I'm not cutting through the wire. And re repeat that step. This one we uh, just stay complete white. The um, darker back we just get all the 
at the end was the uh, the long iron wing. That just fold it back again and tie it down. Secure the wraps again, and then we already come to our last shank. Again, a little bit of lead here. And then we take our reflector flash again. And uh, next thing is then connecting all the stuff again to the hook. So let's go a little bit forward, wind all that stuff around. Get a TP six hundred ten hook again. Some super glue. Like that, and just tie it down. Get our knife brush, got 
a white one here as well. And just turn that down. Easier if you brush it out then a bit again. Just tie it off. Always be careful with the uh, the wire of the brush, not to cut your thread. If it happens, not a problem. Can happen. But, uh, just look out. a little bit out of here. Like that. And then because we don't have a popper head here now, we take a little bit of a uh, white bucktail just to get a little bit more density into the uh, head section. So we do it like that. Just fold it around two loose wraps and then you can just kind of spin it and tighten it or stand up and relieve the bots like that as they uh, will make it even denser. And I push it a little bit of more water in. So we just lean the longer fibers backwards against them. Also, just tie on top of here then. Like that. And then we can adjust it with some looser turns the angle of the bucktail so that's okay now we uh, do the the wing with Nyad so we just take a small amount of uh, white Nyad for the belly and then we do the grey wing on top brush out the under fur Really don't take too much material off it, as it uh, makes the fly a little bit heavier when it soaks up the water, so it's a natural product. And then I have to check for some grey wood. here it's not really treated yet but that's not really a problem you can just brush it out uh, you can straighten the fiber then with an iron if you want to but they get straight in the water anyway uh, only problem is that they will look now a little bit curly on the fly but that's not really a problem it's a really really nice long gray night so it's perfect for the wing to get the uh, darker color in the on the back I'll tie them nearly all the way then. So like that.
So don't mind the wavy Nyot. It uh, will we'll get straight in the water. And uh, yeah, what works best with uh, blending a Nyot is these uh, polar flesh. I'm getting some new ones soon from Hedron. And we just place on the upper bit on top of it. And again, make sure you tie on top of the Nyot and not in front of it because you want to blend it into the material and not uh, to the outside, something like that. And then we can just brush it really into it and then it blends really nicely with the Nyot. And then we can do our dubbing head, but um, I would like just to get a little bit, just a little bit of color in front here for the gills. So just doing one, two turns with the uh, orange reflector flesh, not much, just a bit. Two turns. Don't have to do that. But I sometimes just like it. It's like a like a bite point. So really just a tiny amount. And you can strike it also downwards. And then it's more on the on the belly side than on the upper side. And then we lay our monster duck head here, monster duck uh, in uh, in uh, grey, apish grey, and uh, white on the belly above it. And then we nearly have the finished flies again. Just uh, need some eyes then. But because we wanted to do that. and the white wall somewhere here it is so this one is a little bit more jigging fly not much because there's no dumbbell in it yet um, but as it's a natural baitfish pattern, I also want to uh, have it swimming a little bit more natural, just calm through the water. And the next one of these ones, we tie with a really aggressive dumbbell eyes and uh, get a little color in it and uh, let's see what we can do with it. So, I forgot the glue on the thread, so we just put it in here. Make sure not to hit the dubbing. I can just brush that back just on top of it. And you see the, the orange piece, they're just shimmering through the white, so they're not really visible. And uh, that's exactly what we want. Just a little bit of color in it. This time I'm using the uh, Tiamender though. As I have so much space here, I can really soak the material as there's no popper head in front of it. Right on the table. Dubbing needle and the E6000, and uh, grab some natural looking eyes. These ones here, just some natural looking 3D eyes. Just get them with the dubbing needle onto 
slide, slide the eyes back. And let's see, this are now two patterns we have the perch. And we have a slowly jigging roach. Mm -hmm. Just fix the eyes and let it dry for a second. So the eyes are dry now. As before, we uh, just put a little bit of gold on the nose that gives just a little bit uh, more stability and also gluing the hairs in the front together of course there's also a bit of glue in between already from the eyes but this makes the uh, head more solid and uh, then pushes a little bit more water as well so really coming to an end with the bottle here so like that in place same thing on the other side like that. Now we have a really natural looking roach pattern um, which behaves really naturally. It's uh, just moving all time a little bit, slowly jigging and when you strip it it's coming up, it's jerking through the uh, flat head here. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy time.